A big thanks to Bernhard for sponsoring this episode. Hey Pitmasters, what is up? Today we're going to recreate a golden oldie. Well, at least it's an old video, but it's from Gordon Ramsay and it has like, I think an over 10 million views, but he's making ribs and they look kind of tasty, but he has an awkward way of making the ribs. Let's check out the video. I just checked the video does have 10 million views. Imagine how many people are inspired to actually make ribs like Gordon Ramsay does. And it's quite of like a trophy to have a ribs video hit 10 million. That's, that's kind of cool and impressive. First off, get your roasting tray. Put the tray on the gas. Pork ribs, 60% meat and 35, 40% fat. Just push all that seasoning in to the pork. Mm. All... To me, that's kind of like a weird thing. Gordon says, push the seasoning into the meat. If you have seasoning and you put it on the ribs, the salt will immediately start drawing moisture out of the ribs and will stick to your ribs. If you have a lot of seasoning, it kind of makes sense to have like a longer waiting period. So the, the seasoning actually sticks, but with just a little salt and pepper, it doesn't really matter. You don't have to push it in, push it, press it in. That nice sort of caramelization taking place on the pork. And that's the nice thing about starting it on top of the stove. Use your roasting tray, get them colored, and then in the oven. Putting the ribs straight in the oven, you don't get the color. It looks sort of boiled as opposed to a nice caramelized rib. All right, I, I totally get it. Like he says, if you sear them off, you get a beautiful caramelization on the meat. And I totally agree with that. The weird thing is like, I almost never do it unless I grill my ribs. And in this case, he just wants to get like a crunch, like a, like a caramelization on the outside. I'm with that. If you want smoked ribs, that's not the best thing to do because you're kind of like closing off the meat and the smoke flavor has a harder time to penetrate the meat. But in this case, I kind of see if he's not going to put them on the smoker, I kind of see where he's going. So let's see how that, how that works out. Now we've got the heat, got the spice. I want to sweeten things up a little bit. Some fresh honey. Honey glazes the pork beautifully, counteracts against all that spice in there. Honey has a lot of sugar in it. So you got to be worried at this point, like is the honey going to burn? And is it going to like get from the caramelization point to the point where it's getting dark and, and really, really bitter? And you want to prevent that. But I'm pretty sure he's going to take that tray off the fire in any moment now, because he's a good chef and he knows what he's doing. So I hope. Now, soy sauce soy brings sauce. that little bit of sort of saltiness to it. Really generous with the soy sauce. Japanese vinegar, two tablespoons of vinegar in, ah. rice wine. Immediately after he added the honey, he, he's starting to add more fluid. So what that fluid is going to do is bring down the temperature and therefore the honey is not going to burn. So basically, He's like extinguishing, or he's taking out the heat that's in the pan so that the honey can burn. That's a, that's a smart idea. And I love the addition to uh, the fresh herbs with garlic and ginger. And now he's going in with uh, soy sauce. I love soy sauce. Into the rib. And the top of the rib glazes underneath the rib. That gets crispy and rich. And that's what makes the ribs nice and moist. Really important. Into the oven. Mmm. For every minute they glaze in that tray, they just get to taste better and better. Oh, he just glazed them. He didn't cook them any further. There's just a little glaze on it. That's it. I hope he's going to taste test them in this video because he's testing everything, all of the flavors. So I want to see if he checks the end result. So let's continue watching. Just... Each rib has a nice slice of ginger on there. Wow, look at that. Gordon Ramsay has this voice where he says like, wow, look at that. But he says it in a Gordon Ramsay way. And, and uh, every time he says that, I, I go like, oh yeah, oh yeah. With an amazing marinade. Dude. Season. Video over. Uh, chef, you're not gonna try your own ribs? What's up with that? That's kind of disappointing because I believe that if you want to do quality checks, you also have to check at the end to make sure that your ribs are absolutely perfect. So uh, yeah, 
would, would have loved to see him try that. But why did I pick this video? Why did I want to share this with you? It's because of the flavors, the star anise, ginger, garlic, and all of like soy sauce, and Asian flavors. And it's kind of exciting to me because I've never cooked ribs with those specific flavors before. And I find it kind of intriguing how Gordon cooks ribs in an hour. So I'm just gonna quickly make Gordon Ramsay's ribs because an hour is quickly. And I'm gonna come back to you with the end result with the exact same way that Gordon Ramsay told us to make ribs. And then I'm going to make my own version. Wow, absolutely, uh, I hate to say that it feels like a crime to give Gordon Ramsay a compliment, but I'm, I am going to do it. Gordon Ramsay, you're a genius. They look fantastic and, and come on, man, they look so juicy. There's even like juices coming out uh, underneath and it's hard to defeat a juiciness level like this on a barbecue. So yeah, on the looks, absolutely amazing absolutely amazing so how they feel they are sticky that's well that's basically his title of the video also good job they are sticky they feel juicy and they feel well they feel like good ribs definitely definitely good sticky now let's give them a try oh my god okay he knows what he's doing Seriously, I set the timer for this to cook for an hour and halfway through I flipped it, just like Gordon said, but I was like, all right, I'm gonna set the timer for an hour, but like, if this doesn't work out, I'm gonna cook them for a little longer and then do another taste test, but this is spot on in one hour, crazy tender. Look, look at the bite, it's perfect. It's sticky, it's juicy, it's super, super tender. Before the hate starts, I gotta finish this. I have some hate, but wait for it because this is too delicious. This is really good, but there's a problem with these ribs. The flavors never went into the meat. So basically you get pork meat flavors, but the pork flavor together with the chicken stock, they created like an intense pork flavor. And that's a little bit more than I bargained for. But it's only lacking one thing, no smoke. There's no smoke. That's only something you can achieve when you're actually barbecuing. When you're doing this in the house, this is a perfect recipe. But this is like what separates pit masters, like you guys at home that actually cook on barbecues, that's what separates you from the home cook. They can only get this as the perfect result. You can take it a step further. Now let's start making that recipe. Let me show you how I am going to try and beat this. Like Gordon Ramsay, I'm gonna be using some high quality pork ribs with a good amount of intramuscular fat. And that fat, that makes the rib taste good. It makes it juicy, it makes it tender, and it makes it absolutely delicious. But where the difference starts is that I'm gonna leave my ribs whole, like one slab. And this is called the St. Louis style rib. The only thing that I'm gonna do to it is take off the membrane on the back. Now, of course, this is gonna need some seasoning, so I'm starting off with salt. Sprinkle it on. Of course, I'm gonna do both sides. I'm gonna use a light salt for this. This is fleur de sel, which is around one tablespoon. Then I'm gonna hit it with my favorite ground pepper, which is the smoked white pena pepper. Then I'm gonna hit it with the chili flakes, and I'm not gonna be shy about it. I'm gonna put on a lot of chili flakes. Then I'm gonna hit it with the Chechuan pepper, and I'm gonna use a little less Chechuan pepper than Gordon Ramsay did, because we already got that smoked white pena pepper in there 
And now I just want a little bit of added pepper. We got the chili flakes, we got the Chechewan pepper, we got the ground white penya pepper. That's more than enough pepper. Now I'm gonna let this sit for around 10 minutes just to let that moisture that's coming out of the ribs be soaked up by the herbs so that they will stick to the ribs. In the meantime, I'm gonna fire up my Bernard smoker. Now let's put these ribs on. I set my Bernard smoker to a temperature of 120 degrees Celsius and in around three hours or so, we're gonna get a beautiful smoke color on these ribs and they're gonna taste absolutely amazing. And then we're gonna finish them off with this sauce. First, I'm gonna put some oil in the pan. Then I'm gonna add garlic, three garlic cloves to be exact. To that, I'm gonna add some ginger, also fine chopped, a handful of spring onions, and I'm gonna let them turn soft. I'm gonna add a tablespoon of Chechewan pepper, and that's got that citrusy flavor that's gonna brighten everything up. Two tablespoons of chili flake. Now that's gonna bring some heat. We want these ingredients to be toasted, so we're gonna take some time and make sure that all of the moisture is gone and we just got the oil and the flavor left. To this, I'm gonna add five tablespoons of soy sauce, two tablespoons of rice wine vinegar, two tablespoons of mirin, and 100 milliliters of rice wine vinegar. So I'm also gonna add three tablespoons of honey, and then I'm adding two star anise. Now I'll let this continue to cook until it thickens up. The only thing that I'm not adding to this sauce is Gordon Ramsay's chicken stock. And let me tell you, this is an intense glaze. After three hours of smoking, our ribs look like this. As you can see from these ribs, we picked up a good amount of smoke color. That's that red dark color that we got. That's all flavor that we missed in the previous ribs. I'm gonna flip this upside down and where Gordon Ramsay had his chicken stock as a secret ingredient, I'm using butter. So I'm gonna place these on top of the rack and then I'm adding a little bit of our glaze. Not too much because we're still gonna need this afterwards, just to add that little bit of flavor during the cooking process. Now I'm gonna wrap my ribs up in aluminum foil and I'm gonna put them back on the smoker. I'm gonna let them continue to cook at a temperature of 140 degrees Celsius. Now, the ribs have been in the foil for an hour. Let's take a closer look and see what they look like. Now that is some juicy tender ribs. Smoked ribs. <laughs> this is how I test to see if my ribs are tender. I use a thermometer and I probe my ribs. Look at that. They're so tender, it's insane. And when you got tender, insane tender ribs like this, what are you gonna do? It's perfect. Now all we need to do is get some more of that glaze on because we want that sticky, the good stuff that Ramsey had. So I'm gonna put these back on the barbecue. Look at that, beautiful rack. Now I'm gonna glaze my ribs with our sauce. Ramsey was on the money when he created this sauce. Now I'm gonna brush it onto my ribs. Now I'm gonna close the lid and let these ribs continue to cook until they're nice and sticky. Okay, I gotta admit, this is a lot more work then Gordon Ramsay's rib because I had to smoke them for three hours, then wrap them in foil, do another hour, and then glaze them for 15 minutes. So a little bit more effort, but look at what we got. We got a beautiful smoke ring, absolutely insane. And we got the juiciness. These ribs are juicy. Like, look at that, Gordy. Your ribs are not juicy like mine. Ooh, that's a smoke ring coming back. Barbecue has came into the chat. Let's bite into it. Mmm. Perfect bite. Perfect tenderness. And Gordon, thank you for the sauce, but I'm taking home the ribs. In my opinion, the meat is better, but there was something magical about Gordon's recipe, and I think it's because it was sliced. It was sliced and grilled before anything was done with it. 
This is like, like one of those moments in your career that you think like, I beat Gordon Ramsay on making ribs. These ribs, they have barbecue flavor. They have a smoke ring, they're more juicier. This is the way to go. This is the way to go. You smoke them, that's barbecue. So I, was, I, I would always choose for, for these. But in your tiny little New York kitchen, go for Gordon's recipe, man. Definitely check out this recipe. I've written it down on the website. So, and if you want to make Gordon's recipe, the amounts are also on our website. So check that out. Absolutely fantastic. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. So big thank you to our patrons and our YouTube members. Hope to see you guys next time. Until then, eat smakelijk and keep on grilling.